I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Hi, I'm in an, uh, another Adria uh, Altea. I'm in the Dart, actually, and this came out last year. I was introduced for mainly a couple. So it's got an island rear bed and this lounge at the front. Now, what you'll always find with Adrias is you don't come with a chest of drawers. And um, apart from the two berth version, I think that still comes with a chest of drawers. I can't remember. I'd have to look at that. I can't remember. It's offhand. But this is just short of £21,000, so what do I think of it? Well, for, a, for, a, for a, a minute, this blue upholstery is not going to be in all the 2021 models. It's actually going to be grey, but it's just how it came through at that on this particular batch. Um, Adria, they've done the decals on the outside, they've just given a bit of a smart note, but they don't come as with alloy wheels as standard, but they come with heavy duty corner steadies. Right, well let's have a quick look around and, and see what's what. I'm going to start off with that rear end bedroom first. Well, the rear end bedroom is pretty spacious. It's got uh, two wardrobes of course and overhead lockers. Now you'll see, you'll know by the lockers, I mean you can tell this is an entry level van but they are very very plain. Um, get your wardrobes, oh that's your TV mast. Now, and your hanging rail is here. That could just get a bit in the way, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't put it somewhere else, really. But anyway, never mind. And you've got some little cubby holes there. And the uh, mattress feels very comfortable, too. And, of course, this can be partitioned off from the rest of the, the van. Forgive my squeaky shoes on this floor. And here's a place to put your, your pop your telly. You've got nice big windows as well, I do like that, which makes it very airy in here. And you've got um, a hikey roof vent, but just a normal smaller one. That's it. Oh, that's stiff, stiff on that. Um, table in there. Seems a bit funny spot to put the table out of the line, but then again, it's out of the way and it produces this little lap, lap to. Uh, little shelf sorry to put your uh, tv on you've got usb points of course in there and as i say this can slide across so it cuts it off um plug socket here which seems a bit at hazard a bit random where they put the plug socket i don't know why they put the plug socket there but anyway let's uh let's uh, have a quick look at the uh, the washroom is in, is in the middle of the van and you do get more of a molded unit although this again has been it's got a sealant down there so it's not a complete molded unit but you get more of a molded unit effect and it comes with a roof vent so again get rid of all that steam and these doors actually just feel nice quality doors you know for the for the entry level uh, van to be quite honest but the shower does look a little bit sort of plain in all fairness it does look a little bit plain and there's a rail there to hang any wet clothes on should you need to not that it rains much here in on the old Britain. Right, now let's find the loo area. Oh, let's go through here. Right, here's your 
low area again typ typical Adria um, got a little hand base in it not very deep uh, storage again here and this just feels a bit crude the way that's been boxed in and again we're onto these I've said it into a different report these white type of button like 10 pence pieces I've seen them being used in Baileys as well but Adria seem to be the master of using them and they sort of are just a bit I don't know don't feel quite as uh, as, as well put together because the van is very well to put together Cassette le f uh, electric flush loo and a great decent side window too. You don't get a roof vent in here, but you've got that window, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you've got some storage above in the mirrored doors here, and a big mirror here, and of course an outlet there, of course as well. But yeah, that box section, you think we now sort of moulded? I don't know. It just sticks out a bit. It looks a little bit, to my mind, just quite unfinished. Okay, let's go and have a look at that kitchen area. I'm just shutting that off. I think that's supposed to stop there. I think it's like a magnet type thing there, but it doesn't seem to be working on there. But anyway, kitchen. Again, typical Adria. The L-shaped um, hob burner, uh, three gas and a sink. It's all one unit. As I say, this idea was brought in, ooh, I think it was brought in for about 2013, 2014. So it's been around a long time. I mean, practical, yeah, it's very practical, but that sink is small if you're washing up in it, you know, it's not a big sink at all. Um, quite a decent window there, and you've got some LED strip light underneath here, and of course you've got the microwave there, which again just seems a little bit, oh, let's put the microwave in, put a bit of wood across over the top. Just feels a little bit, it could have just done been done a bit better maybe I don't know maybe I'm just being a bit too fussy it's just rubbing it inside a little bit it clicks nicely and of course you've got your uh, crockery holders there too as I say the Adria does feel pretty well made you get uh, an oven and again you get these drawers that slide in and out very nicely I mean that just feels nice and quality and of course the Thetford fridge here slim line which is good of course and you control panel above here it controls your your, uh, your your heating and also for checking your battery and what have you it's a stable door which I'm glad to see these still using stable doors it's not glazed but then I wouldn't expect that and you've got this little panel that we can put a hook on and you can put bits on there and yeah it's quite a good idea again we're down to these plastic 10 pence piece of things which again it just just spoils it a little bit in my books this does come with a carpet because the carpet isn't down for viewing purposes right uh, a quick look in this lounge we'll do this all in one take um, yeah you could set uh, this makes into a double bed and what I do like is the fact that they use the these pull outs as well so you don't have to mess around with slats there's a blown air outlet there these scatter cushions here and also the TV point and plug socket there and some little nifty LED lights and there's the speakers for the radio and the speakers uh, the radio actually does come with its own area which you can just see it's, it's actually plugged in outside the wall there but again plenty of storage up here good deep lockers but these quarter type uh, lockers things here they are just dummies there's nothing in there now you can sit around here, it'd be great. And again, that front window, I'm sorry guys, but I do have to gripe about the front window. It could do with being a bit wider. But again, I will praise that sunroof because I think it's pretty damn good. Uh, I'd like to see British manufacturers do a sunroof just like that, actually. That'd be good. Um, just one last thing, really. Side window here. Could do with being a bit bigger. Um, and I just don't know why they've just got a small window there. Uh, it would be better if it was just something a little bit bigger. I mean, you get plenty of light in here, but it would just open it up even a bit more. Right, let's have a quick summary. Right, I've just put this little shelf out, which is done by a little folding piece of wood under there, actually. It feels rather primitive, but it works. And it feels sturdy. 
Right, Adria, 2021 Altiers, what do I think? Well, they've not done a great deal to them. And the Dart works quite well. It's got a decent sized bedroom. Uh, the washroom's not bad either. Um, but at this sort of money, you are looking into knocking into get Bailey Phoenix with the, uh, I think it's the 460, uh, which comes with um, a slightly, I think, a better, in, well, it does come with a better interior. Um, also, again, you've got things like the Sprite there, uh, which, again, is a, a real a real benchmark for this entry type level of, of Tora, if we can call it that these days, because they're so well specified. But the Adria is for somebody who wants something a bit more, who wants something that's a bit rugged, he doesn't want anything over fancy, he just wants it to be functional, and it feels contemporary inside too. As I say, you've got lots of space, it feels very spacious. Um, as I say, you know, here I do find it a little bit, I've got to, I've got to look out here to, have a nose in what's going on on site. So, what do I think of it overall? I think it's a good tour. There's no doubt about it. You know, there's no real, there's no bad tours around these days. Like there's no bad cars around these days. But it will be to everyone's personal choice. Some people will actually fall in love with this. Others may not like it and just walk straight out. Me personally, I like the ruggedness of it. I quite like that it's well built. It feels good. I'm not skiing on the plastic infills around. That is a little bit of a, uh, a downer for me. It reminds me a bit again of sort of really the old ABI days as well, back in the late 80s, early 90s. They used to use bits of things like that, and I think things should have moved on a bit. Um, no alloy wheels, the heavy duty corner steadies. I could have done without the heavy duties, had some alloy wheels on just to smart it up. The graphics on the outside look good. Um, it's a pleasing enough caravan, um, but you've got to start looking what else is available on the market so as i say to everybody and i've come across, across a lot of people on um dealers for course do have a good look around look in the brochures look at the specs and make sure when you get in that van it feels right so do get the choice okay you're going to spend some foot leather shoe leather on going around these places but do you know what it's a big investment twenty one thousand pounds to me is a mega amount and I know you can pay a lot more than that, as we've seen on various reviews. But at the end of the day, to me, that's a lot of years of work to buy one of these. So consequently, I will look around and make sure I can get the best that, best for my money. But anyway, 2021, Adria's looking as though they're going to still sell well. They've got a good niche in the market, in the UK market. They haven't got a fantastic amount of dealers in here. They're now owned by Trigano Group, which of course owns the Marquis Group, which also owns... Um, Auto sleeper too, and it goes on the caravel air, and it goes on. So um, I'm going to say goodbye from um, Stuart Longton Caravans at Chorley, Main Adria and Swift Dealers, and I'm at their little Adria dealership here, which is just by the main road. That's why it's a little bit noisy. And um, please keep watching, please keep subscribing too, and please give me your comments. And I hope my reviews are pretty honest because I can be very very honest, and I can. And I will criticise, but I won't criticise just for the sake of it. Only if I think it needs to be, you know, something needs to be drawn attention. And of course I will praise something as well. Just how it goes. So, you know, I don't work for any manufacturer. So I'm not tied into anything and I can't keep praising one brand all the time. So, consequently, you'll get a fair report from me. And uh, as I say, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's fair enough. Anyway. Stay safe and uh, I will be seeing you soon at my next review. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.